Well, what's up to all my chicken grease junkies out there in YouTube land? This is Fast Jimmy 71 coming at you from the Chicken Grease Garage. What's cracking with everybody? Uh, today is Sunday. Uh, very cold today in Chicago. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened to the weather. It was beautiful. Now all of a sudden the bottom dropped out. I don't understand what happened. But uh, that's how Chi-Town is. Uh, the weather is really crazy here. Well... This is going to be the video and the final video of the 57 Chevy pulling truck uh, that I've been working on forever. <laughs> and I am so glad to be done with it. Uh, it's been a long road with that car, but finally got it done. Sitting back here, <clears throat> but before I get into that, I'm going to... Remind you guys that yes, please remember, I still have plenty of the Fast Jimmy 71 t-shirts. Please place your orders, uh, leave me a message uh, so you know I can get these things out to you if you wish to purchase them. Uh, remember, I have plenty of t-shirts. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got one right here that's going out to uh, Moderate Modeler. He already placed his order, and uh, I got uh, I got uh, the money order, so this one's going out to him. Uh, I got to put it in the envelope and send it on its way. So thank you, moderate modeler. And before before I do that, uh, I'm also going to show you that he also sent me something in the mail also with his order, uh, which was very cool. So thank you, sir. He sent me the 19, what is it, the 1953 Chevy panel truck uh, gasser uh, which is very cool thank you sir and he also sent me some tires with that so thank you thank you thank you again for that very awesome I know I'm gonna I'm gonna do something really cool with that but now let's get into the final video of this uh, 57 Chevy pulling truck that everybody's been waiting for and everybody's been asking about so uh, without further ado let me Turn this camera around and I'll be right back so don't go nowhere. Alright guys, I'm back and here we go. Uh, here is the 57 Chevy Nomad. Uh, as you remember, if you guys have been following me since, uh, since I started this uh, journey with this car, <laughs> uh, I didn't expect it to drag on this long, but you know, you know how things are. So, but the thing is done, it's done, it's done, it's finally done. Uh, it's not gonna look like this, it doesn't look like it, uh, 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 a nomad. Uh, I actually turned it into an El Camino. Uh, as you guys know, the 57 never made an El Camino. Um, <clears throat> so, if you do see an El Camino, it's because they custom made it into an El Camino, but 57 never made an El Camino. Uh, so I made my version of an, El, of an El Camino. So let me pull this box away and let me reveal what is really behind this box. So here we go. And there she is. 1957 Chevy El Camino, known as California Dreams aka the pulling truck uh this vehicle has been painted in a flat black by testers uh i left the hood in primer maybe later on i'll paint it i don't know uh, i'm still debating on that um white wall tires moon rims all bare metal foil all bare metal foil uh, the undercarriage is all done. This is all detail painted right here, here. Um, the grill is painted in the gold. The only thing I didn't paint was the 57 Chevy symbol in the front. I was trying to see if I can find a decal that would fit in that spot because I really don't want to hand paint that because that's a really big pain in the butt. <laughs> to hand paint that so uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that you know if I can come across a 57 Chevy emblem in the front then cool but as of right now I'm just gonna leave it like that um, because as you know that's really 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 small crevices in there and you got to get that just right 
uh, the visor, it is scratch built. The interior, all scratch built. Interior, the, the door panels are made of foam with foam inserts. And if you guys are wondering, what is that pink thing sitting on the seat? Well, that was an idea of my wife's. My wife, uh, she gave me an idea. She says, well, you know, if you're going to make this into a pulling truck, uh, why don't you have like uh, like some sort of, you know, traces of a girl being in the car? You know, like he took his girlfriend to the races or he took his girlfriend to the beach or whatever, you know, because this is not only a pulling vehicle, but I turned it into like uh, uh, something you can take to the beach or whatever. You know, I didn't have any surfboards, so, you know, I didn't put a surfboard back there. But uh, she says, uh, why don't you make some slippers? Some flip-flops. So that's what I did. Uh, I don't know if you can see that really good in there. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Right there. That is a flip-flop. And there's one on the floor. Uh, these are speaker grills. Speaker grills on the top. Uh, photo etch seat belts. There is a lot going on in there. Uh, like I said, this is all bare metal foil. There's the bumper. I, you know what? I tried to do this with bare metal foil and it did not work for me. So I tried to hand paint it and it came out really, really crappy. Uh, my hands are not as steady as they were back then. So that was kind of shaky. So I'm really kind of disappointed in this area right here. But you know what it is, what it is. It's not going to go to a show or anything. This is just, you know, I, I it's going to sit on my shelf anyway. So it's no big deal. I'm not going to make a big fuss out of that. But, you know, it could have been better, a lot better. But the bare metal foil that I was using, for some reason, it wouldn't stick. I don't understand why. It wouldn't stick and it was aggravating me. So I just, I left it alone and I should have left it alone and left it black. But then it wasn't going to look right with everything all chrome and everything and that without being anything. So I tried painting it and some of them came out okay and some of them come out like uh, Leilani did them. <laughs> Sorry Leilani, I love you. You're my baby. Um, uh, but you know, yeah. It's very sloppy, and I'm very disappointed in that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, wood floor, and, yes, that is a scratch-built cooler, uh, Coca-Cola cooler, uh, with Pepsi cans. Oh, wait, not Pepsi cans. Look at me, Pepsi cans. Uh, with Coca-Cola cans that I made. Uh, so, this is all scratch-built. It's got ice inside. Uh, not real ice, guys. Uh, that, those are little white beads, clear beads that also my wife had came up with. Uh, all this is my wife's idea. She came up with this idea, and I, I, I just put it together, and, you know, that's all her idea right there. The little Coke cans and the Coke symbol and the, the little Coca-Cola cooler and uh, the slippers. I don't know if you can see that. There's one there, and the other one is on the floor. You barely see it, but you can't see it, so oh well. Um that's uh that's what she looks like and the engine. Let me show you the engine. Nicely detailed engine, heater hoses, radiator hose wired up. Uh, fuel lines, everything is really nice, uh, nice and neat. Um, that is a Paul Paul's uh, tachometer. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, I had a, 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 a like a cover, and I used one of his hinges. Well, the reason why it's not on there is because every time I would lift, it would lift the hinge up. The hinge would push the 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 cover away from the hinge and every time I had to close I had to push it down and then lay it flat and it was giving me gaps and it was just terrible so I it's not because I didn't want to use his is uh you know because I was really you know going for the hinge thing 
but since it wouldn't sit right it was giving me a lot of issues so i just i eliminated it but you know i will be using his hinges for other things but i did use one of his, t one of his tacks homemade tacks which is very nice uh you know, the only problem with this car is that everything is molded to the chassis. That's the only problem with this thing. Everything's molded. And, you know, there's very little detail that you can do to this. You know, so it is what it is. But, um, you know, that's that's uh, that's the 57 Chevy uh, pulling vehicle uh, known as California Dreaming. That's uh that's what my wife wanted to name it, so I named it California Dreamin'. Uh my nineteen fifty seven Chevy El Camino. Uh the, the the back window is made out of that plastic. Um made the wheel wells in the back. Just oh and there's a tiki tiki shifter right there let me see if i can zoom in on this there is my tiki shifter right there um so you know there's a lot a lot of pretty cool stuff going on in that in that interior i love the way that interior came out i wanted to i used mango go mango orange for the interior and i was gonna paint the roof in mango and leave all of this in black but then I figured you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up and I'm gonna add the orange back here and break it up with the chrome and you know that's where it all ties in so that's how I did that uh, I was gonna add the orange up here also but it was already too late um, you know I already did all the painting and stuff so that was too late for that so you know uh, I, I, I should have done the orange up here also, but I didn't, so, but that's okay, though, like I said, this car is not going to any shows, um, you know, it's, it's just something that I've just been monkeying around with for, for over a year and a half now, <laughs> uh, because it's been that long, I think even longer, so, uh, that's, uh, that's what she looks like, man, so, listen, brothers, I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, I guess you guys want to know how it looks with the pulling car. So, let me pull this off of here. And let me get this out of here. Let me put the Chevy over here. You know, it was... It, you know, this is something that I just came up with. You know, it's no big deal if it, you know, looks the way it looks. It's, uh, you know, it's not going to any shows, like I said, so I can, I, I don't care. You know, it's no big deal. Uh, and there she is. She's ready to go to the races. So, there's the whole combo. The 57 Chevy pulling vehicle with the 57 Chevy Headhunter. Pro Street in the back with the trailer that I made. Uh, so she is finally done. So that's it, my brothers. Till, till then, this is Fast Shimmy 71 coming from the Chicken Grease Garage saying peace. And you know it, Chicken Grease. Laters.